Listen to me. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk to y'all real quick. Hold on for a minute. What's this? You know what I'm saying? So Caffeine, you know, they did an event with URL and Queen of the Ring. I do want to say this event was fire from top to bottom. Some shout out to Babs. I know it was your birthday. That's one crazy way to spend a birthday. You know, and one thing I do want to talk about before I talk about some of these battles is I appreciate it. You know, the the entertainment leading up to everything, you know, like the, the face off. So you had smack going up against Babs. It was talking crazy. And it was like, you know, kind of uh, interesting competition between the two of them, you know. And, you know, each side wanted their party to win. Babs was going hard for the, the females. Smack was like going in for the males, you know, and I appreciated that. It didn't seem like an event that was just thrown together, you know, that had no merit. They put a lot of time and effort into marketing and trying to make this thing work. Now, I do want to say, you know, for the most part, visually, you know, I want to get that out of the way. You know, I think it's kind of... I rock with, you know, Avocado the way that he he does film, you know. But I like this, bro. You know, I, you know, I kind of liked how they, they did it with, like, the, the player bars, like, so people can see, you know, how people were feeling about each battler throughout the rounds. I was kind of feeling like that was going to, you know, maybe sway people in the end. But I feel like for the most part, you know, even though there's a couple battles that – yeah, no, you, it can gotta go either way, but for the most part, I think the battle rap fans got it right, you know. And one of the battles I didn't get a chance to see all the way was E Heart versus K Shine. I think I cut it off after the second round. It just wasn't that interesting of a battle to me, and I felt like you know K Shine was clearly winning that battle. I felt like I don't know what's going on with you know E Heart. Maybe, like, the fans, everybody saying she's going to lose probably got to her, you know, but I felt like that was some of her lightest writing that I've seen from her in a while, you know, and going up against somebody like K-Shine, who came to that battle with beatable rounds, I felt like, you know, you could have probably at least, you know, tried to get one of the first two rounds, and I just didn't get much from her. Now, that's not to say E. Hart's not, you know, great at what she does, it just... In that particular moment, I wasn't really feeling a lot of her material that she was writing. And it could be just like, it's a new environment, it's a new situation. You standing in front of K-Shine, you know, it's a lot that could be going through and racing through somebody's mind. You know, like hundreds of thousands of people potentially could be watching this, you know. So, you know, we all human beings at the end of the day. And she's not as active as a lot of people, you know. So, you know, it'll take time for, you know, e Hart to kind of get her bearings and to get to where she needs to be. I'll say that. But I got K-Shine, you know, winning it the first two rounds. Like, I seen the third round. Like, I'm saying, I didn't see, you know. And then we got, uh, let's talk about official and Arsenal. First of all, I do want to say, Arsenal, listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Arsenal is not just a battle rapper. This dude is a, a, a battle rap icon, bro. Like, that performance that you gave versus official, I think you kind of, you probably had everybody on the edge of their seat, like, you know, like, this is about to get dark, you know, for official. And, you know, I had official, like, 2-1 in my predictions, thinking that she was going to win, just because oftentimes Arsenal, I'm not going to lie, you know, no disrespect to you sometimes, you don't, you know, be 100% in battles. And I felt like you took a different approach. I guess people were criticizing your pen, so you worked on that a lot. You know, your delivery was crazy. The performance was crazy. It wasn't like over-the-top disrespect. If anything, it wasn't really much disrespect at all. I was thinking that you'd probably be, you know, spitting all up in her face. You know what I'm saying? Not spitting, but like all up in her face, battling, like being crazy with her, pushing her around, grab. You know what I mean? You didn't do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, I felt like it was a clear victory for, for Arsenal. I seen official, you know, you went on, I think it was like 15 minutes of fame or hip hop is real. And you were talking about, you felt like you got robbed. No disrespect official. We all rock with you. We loved you. We were all supporting you even in the chat, you know, and that was clear. You know what I mean? That was a clear 3-0, you know, in my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? You didn't really say anything that was too memorable, but, you know, who knows what she was going through. Like, she probably was thinking, like, yo, like, this, I'm about to stand in front of Arsenal. 
you know, a lot of things could have been going through her head, and she's with the Bart Ashes. I'm sure she let, you know, some people hear her material, and I guess if she did, they probably okayed the material for her to come out with, and it just wasn't enough to be Arsenal. You know, I'm just going to put it there like that. You know what I mean? So shout out to Arsenal once again, you know, you doing what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? And shout out to you for that. Very, very few battle rappers can do that, you know, and still captivate after this long, you know. And this is kind of leading me into DNA versus Vixen. Wait a minute. I think somebody probably got this battle wrong. I'm sorry. I think they got it wrong. Now, I'll say this. I think Vixen, I think she got the third round. Just because, DNA, you spent way too much time, like, addressing other people that had a problem with that Biden situation. You know, I think you went at hollow to die. You just going in on people, you know. And I just didn't feel like enough of it was geared towards Vixen in order for you to, to win that round. Second round. I think Vixen got that round. Vixen, where? what is going on with you? First round, I gave the DNA. We ain't going to even do that. I gave that to DNA. I got Vixen second and third, bro. And my but what did Vixen say? What did Vixen say to DNA? She was just like, uh, y'all know how uh, Jay Murder, this is Battle of the Night, by the way, but y'all know how Jay Murder, he said something to somebody. He was just like, I'll smack the, the bee about you and chill with her. But she said, you know, like when she was battling DNA, Vixen, she said, I'll smack the chip out you and introduce her and introduce her to a better man. Yo! Listen to Vixen! She had the all Vixen! North! Vixen says she texts you North. She also said, like, she she played off of the, the DNA, like, get the F out of here, get the... She was like, if Norbs texts back, we would smack the F out of here. She was going off, bro. She brought up the, the whole lawsuit situation. Like, she was, like, holding no punches. She was, like, pushing DNA around, you know, and the crazy part about it, DNA was fire. This was not, like, a bad DNA at all. You know, and I think the first round is kind of low-key debatable. You could argue she might have, like, 30 DNA, bro. You know, and for him to to take off, like, I think a year and to come back and do this battle and lose doesn't really hurt his stock. I don't think it really, like, DNA, he's such a legend. I don't think this would hurt his stock. I think people are going to look at it when it drops on the app as this could be a debatable battle. For them, some people may want to give DNA the first and the second. I honestly feel like the I think the people got it mostly right. I think she got the the second, and I think she got the third. And Vixen, I do want to see you battle more. I don't know like what the holdup is. I think you had uh, I think they it was in Cleveland, Ohio. You had like a battle, and 15 minutes of fame, and somebody was covering it, and that's when you were like reintroduced back into the public in that interview. And you said you had a battle that, that went down pretty good. I didn't get a chance to see that battle. But I watched uh, a few Vixen battles, like, before that, you know. And I had DNA, like, still, like, in my prediction. I thought he was going to 30 you. I thought he was going to 30 you. I'm very surprised and shocked with what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? I'll say that. I think you did what you were supposed to do. I think DNA came, you know, to, to put some fire up under you. You know, and he did... You know, what he was supposed to do in terms of rapping, not choking, giving us great angles, you know, and I just felt like you were better, like, in every way, you know. So, I'm going to say that for you, Vixen. I think this was a battle of the night. I thought this was a war. She didn't, this was not DNA <laughs> being easy on her. You know, I don't think that's, I think he was fighting and she was fighting. She just ended up being a better person that night. But I'm curious, you know, this brings it back to the URL app. This makes me want to... Start supporting this app again. Y'all dropping events like this, back to back events, you know, and you got battles like this fire that's got replay. Value. I think Arsenal officials got replay value. I think this battle's got a lot of replay value. I think people are going to watch this like over and over again to try to decipher who actually won this thing, you know. But like I will say, 
I got Vixen winning it 2-1. But I think Couture got robbed. I think she got robbed. I think y'all got this one wrong. I think y'all got this one wrong. I think Couture got the second round. And I think she got the first round. Like, how can y'all give Charlie Clips the first round and he choked? Mm. He's choking in the first round. How did y'all give him that round? Let's be real. That like the, the rules are still I know people are trying to, to, to change the rules. The rules are still in place. You choke, you lose that round. All the stumbling and, you know what I mean? And my problem with Charlie Clips, no disrespect to him, you know, there's not really much slander of him on this channel at all. You know, I always show, like, the utmost respect to Charlie Clips. But my issue with you, Clips, is that you knew you were about to battle Couture. This is not somebody you want to play around with, especially when you had, like, a past dealing with her. You know, you don't want to, like... You see what I'm saying? Like, you you don't know what she's going to come with. You don't want to be stumbling and fumbling, and she's already, like, po I think she was the most poised, like, throughout the night out of anybody. Like, she wasn't really reacting to anything Clip said. She was just kind of just, like, chilling, letting him talk, and, you know, spitting what she spit. You know what I mean? I think she did pretty good, and I do want to see Couture again. I'm not going to even front. You know what I mean? I think Queen of the Ring, they're trying to do another event in November, I think she should be on that card, bro. I think she should be on that card. I think Vixen sh Vixen needs to battle dudes, bro. She needs to battle dudes. Like, she's clearly got what it takes. You know, she's got charisma. She had the bar. She had the energy. She had the angles. You know, the only thing I didn't like was she was saying, and, you know, this is just me being critical of her. I think she was saying, uh, I think how Twerk did DNA or something. Like, she was making it seem like, like I can't I can't remember the exact bar. I'm sorry, but she was making it seem like Twerk was like outshining DNA. But you know, for some reason, it clicked in my mind like the DNA and Twerk battle, and DNA like clearly like beat him. And it was something else she said. I think she talked about DNA. This is what it was. My bad, Vixen. It wasn't that. It was this. You were talking about DNA's mom being like handicapped, and we all know that that's not like a fact. So when you said that, that kind of was like, all right, like what are we doing? But you know, it is what it is. But I still got her winning the battle. I think she did very well. I seen the uh, live that she did with Myrna Mook. Myrna Mook was giving her a lot of props, you know. And shout out to Mook for doing that, you know, giving her the spotlight at that time. I felt like she deserved it. And you don't drink dark liquor, Vixen. I seen you on 15 Minutes of... I see everything. I seen you on... I think it was like Hip Hop is Real 15 Minutes of Fame. They're giving you shots. You talking about... I think 40, cow, uh, 40 bars, she was just like, she don't drink, like, dark liquor. You know what I'm saying? You only drink, like, Ciroc or, like, vodka or something like that. But you don't drink dark liquor? What? What? You from the Midwest? Shout out to Vixen. You know what I mean? I like her uh, her performance. Now, I do want to get into, I think it was uh, KCJ versus Swamp. I had KCJ in my prediction winning this battle. 2-1. You know, I didn't think Swamp can beat KCJ, and this is no disrespect to Swamp. I think Swamp is a heck of a talent. I felt like you would learn a lesson, like, in this battle, and and I don't know if Swamp didn't watch her battles, but I feel like he did, because like, some of the trolling he's been doing, he's kind of mentioning, like, some things, and it kind of seems like he has, like, watched her battles. But me, like, I watched, I think it was, like, six of her battles, her versus uh, C3, her versus, uh, I think it was Clone, uh, KCJ versus, it was KCJ versus the world. You know what I mean? I watched her versus Miss Merck. Her, her versus the world, bruh. You know, and like her writing, you know, no disrespect to Swamp, I feel like you've got a lot of intangibles that other people may not have. You're very direct with your approach. You know, your, your cadence is different. Your flow is different. I just felt like, like, her writing is on a different level than yours. And I knew going into this battle that you are going to be, you know, on an uphill battle, you know, going against her. You know what I mean? So, shout out to her. She did what she was supposed to do. I think she might have 30, you know, Swamp, if I'm not mistaken. When I seen it the first time, I'm just like, okay. I think that was a 3-0. I watched, I think, it, her second round again. 
you know, but I felt like overall, I think she she 30. You know what I'm saying? It was clear. And shout out to Swamp for, you know, doing an interview and just admitting it, bro, that you got 30. You know what I mean? But KCJ, like, I think she's highly underrated. That's just me. I think she's highly underrated. I feel like KCJ is is kind of like, I don't know if you're not putting yourself out there enough, but writing-wise, like, you, you around, like, the top, like, females. You know, I mean, it wasn't a lot of potent writing, but, I mean, it was better than what Swamp was doing, and it was clear. You know, I just feel like, you know, the the type of resume you have, all the people that you battle, the performance that you had, the people that you beaten, you know, you should be, like, at least more talked about than some of these people. You know what I mean? But I think you did what you were supposed to do. Shout out to you. I do want to see you again. And she needs to be battling dudes. Obviously, she's just 31. You know what I mean? So that's my opinion on that. Shout out to KCJ. I thought this might have been, you know, watching KCJ's round. I think, like, she was, like, making me think that this could be, like, battle of the night. You know what I mean? But... I mean, Vixen and DNA took it to a whole new level. You know what I mean? So shout out to, you know, KCJ. Shout out to Swamp for taking the battle. Your fans have been wanting to see you. I see T-Top going in on you, you know. But at times, I think you even said to Swamp, like, you win some, you lose some, you know. But, hey, you battle again, you know what I mean? Like, you got to take your licks, like, how they come, you know what I mean? So shout out to you and everything like that. Now, I do want to talk about, there's another battle I seen. I think it was C3 and Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty, I got you winning. I got you getting the first round, and I got you getting the third round. I think you choked, like, in a, the, or you messed up in the third round, C3. She could barely finish her third round, so you ended up getting a third round off of that. I think C3 may have gotten you in the second round. Now, Rum Nitty, you might want to sit down for a minute. You know, and this is not any disrespect to Romney. I felt like your bars was there in the first round. You know, I felt like, you know, it's just something. I think we're seeing you too much, bro. You know, I don't know if this is, and not to get into your personal being, business, and I don't know what y'all do, you know, but as I don't know if maybe it could be like you not getting the most money for your battles or how things may be working, or you could be getting a lot of money just deciding to take a bunch of battles. I will calm down right now. You know, you almost lost to C3. If C3 would have got through that third round, you would have lost. You know what I mean? And, you know, you don't, you haven't been winning that much to take chances like that. You know what I mean? So I think a lot of people rock with you. I think in terms of like bars and everything like that, you still like leading on the app, how people view you. You know what I'm saying? I think you're the top battler on the app still. I think that's ran by the West Coast. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's, it's him, it's, uh, Geechee, it's like, I mean, I think the West Coast is pretty much controlling the app, you know what I'm saying, in terms of uh, skill set, you know, but I don't want you to to get into to problems with battle rappers to where you're like, you could clearly lose at this point, especially with how you write, and I think you may have said, and correct me if I'm wrong, that, you know, you battling a lot is not watering down your material, I think it it is watering down your material, bro. Like, your second and third, like, it showed me, like, you need to, like, just just chill out for a minute. With their name, your resume, like, who you battle, like, what you bring to the table, if you sat out for a minute, bro, you know what I mean? Just sat out. You know, I think people will start screaming to see, you know, Rum Nitty on stage. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is on that. That's just my personal opinion. You know, hopefully you listen if not, hey, you know what I mean? That's on you. But those are the battles that I say, oh, 40 bars versus Sue Sir. Wait a minute. We not doing that. 40 bars. Dope. You had the the, the garden scheme like in the, the beginning. You know what I mean? Like you, you did your thing. Sir's first round was fire. We ain't doing that. His first round was pretty, it was crazy. I thought you was about to have a major problem, 40. You know what I mean? And one thing I, I do want to say before I get to the rest of the battle, 
I get it. It's a lot of attention on you guys. And, and when you like doing any type of entertainment or you, you're on stage, you're doing theater, you're doing battles. Like these people, their amygdalas are different. Like the the fear, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't really get afraid. They don't get shooken by speaking in front of like big crowds and this, that, and the third, you know? So a lot of battle rappers have thick skin, so they don't let the environment bother them. You know, for the most part, I felt like with you 40, you know, when he was walking up on you, like, don't walk up on me. Don't walk up on me. Don't walk, oh, my God, don't walk up on me. You know, you doing stuff like that, which could potentially throw you off, is dangerous. You know, or like when you was like, you know, messing with the 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 mic, you were having issues with that. And you were like, oh, his mic ain't, you know what I mean? My mic and this mic, you know, you getting kind of flustered. Like, those are things that I would think you would want to stay away from. But at the same time, 40 is like, what, the most viewed, like, female battle rapper? Maybe all of that adds to the, you know, the everything that, that 40 bars, like, brings to the stage. People want to see all that, you know what I mean? Because it's a, a raw form of entertainment watching her, you know. But I would think, like, when you start getting on a level where you battling dudes like that, you kind of want to stay away from that because that can throw you off. And Surf was trying to throw you off in that battle, which, shout out to you, you didn't allow that to happen in your second round. You got through your second round pretty good. Now... Surf second round. I ain't gonna even hold you. Y'all go get mad. Surf second round was better than hers. It was. But then you choked. What? Listen to me. Surf, this is what you should have did, bruh. This is what you should have did. You should have. You got through enough of your round. To where you could have, you could have like ended it better. You know what I'm saying? You could have been like, all right, now you go. You know what I'm saying? Or something you could have did. You made it like apparent that you choked in that round. You know what I mean? And that, I think, like, did you win? You know, the where she had a roundup on you, bro. You know, one thing I do want to say was to serve. I think it was his first round. He rebuttaled. If I'm not um, messing this, I think he rebuttaled her garden scheme. And it was an all right rebuttal. I wasn't mad at it. But we'll get to the third round. Third round. 40 bars. A little bit of a drop off to me, you know, but, you know, she got through a round. Surf raps and he chokes. He chokes. He gives it up. You know what I mean? He was like, I think you said something, Surf, like I, I did my numbers or I watched the numbers or something like that. Like, go, you can go. Like, I'm like, yo. Are you just like, you know, you was done with it? Surf, we getting to the point now, you know, I, I hate for it to be at this level. You know what I mean? To where people are kind of just like, I don't want to see Surf. Because I feel like people are still going to watch you. You know, I feel like you're going to get booked. I think your name still carries the entertainment factor. Now, I don't want you to be in a position where you get to the point to where people just want to see you lose or they feel like you're becoming delusional. Like I seen an interview that you did on, uh, I think it was 15 Minutes of Fame and Hip Hop is Real. You were basically saying you got the first two rounds clear. If you didn't choke in that second round, I would have gave you that second round, bro. The second round wasn't bad. It's the, the when we know you're choking, and I think you covered it up by you didn't say Jersey. You know what I'm saying? You ain't saying that no more. You kind of just like letting it just play out. But if you would have ended that second better, we probably wouldn't have even known that you choked. You know what I mean? So that's something that you want to remember. But like people are pissed. They're saying like two rounds. This is a two round surf, one round surf. This is what we getting people are mad. What y'all expect to get? What did y'all expect to get? You think surf is going to give you three rounds? And this is not to disrespect surf. You know what I mean? But you think he's going to give you three? He's been giving you two rounds for how long? You know what I mean? So it gets to a point to where, yeah, he gave you three rounds versus Geechee Gotti. But for the most part, you're getting two rounds with Surf. You know, so it's like, take it or leave it. They're going to book him. They know they're more than likely going to get two rounds from him. This is what you're going to see. Get the most out of the two rounds that you can get. You know what I mean? But now it's kind of, I can't say one round Surf, but... Looking at this battle, you know what I mean? It's kind of moving towards, like, one round. 
You know what I mean? But you could say with the the, the Reed Dallas battle, he was able to get through that battle. You know what I'm saying? You could do that. But no disrespect to Surf, this, this is two losses like back to back. You lost versus uh, Loaded Lux and you lost versus 40 Bars. And 40 Bars is a big figure in battle rap. So losing to her is dangerous. You know what I'm saying? For your reputation. I know you rock with her. Y'all got a pretty good rapport. But, you know, you don't want to lose to anybody if you can prevent that. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Surf. Shout out to 40 Bars. This is no disrespect to anybody that was on the card to take these females, you know what I mean, and give them shine. And some of these females, you know what I mean, coming to work. You know, I feel like I got my time's worth. We didn't have to pay for none of this. You know, I thought that was dope. And it was a good event. It was fire. Babs. Babs. You need to host more battles. Like, y'all need to, caffeine, y'all might want to start rocking with Queen. And you need to host more about it. You were entertaining. You know, you kept it lit. You know, shout out to Jay Black. Like, he kept it lit. You know, I felt like, you know, it's kind of rough. Like, you in that type of environment. You know what I mean? And you got to continue to be, like, unbiased in what you're doing. And you got to read what the fans are saying. You're going to get all that ridicule and all that. Shout out to you, bro. Like, that's a lot. You're taking a lot of time off of your channel to do that. Shout out to you. You know, but... As a whole, I liked the event. You know, I thought it was dope. If I missed anything, y'all let me know. Battle of the night, it goes to Vixen and DNA. DNA was not trash. Uh, Arsenal was definitely on one. You know what I mean? That was one of my, like, favorites, like, that night. And, you know, this is what you get. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, comment down in the comment section below. I'm busy. You know what I mean? Y'all busy. I don't want to hold y'all up dropping multiple blogs. I got, like... Something going on in the house I'm trying to fix, calling different people. Like, so, you know, but I'm still watching everything. But y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Shout out to Debo. I think this was a success. You and Babs and Vague, like, y'all did what y'all was supposed to do. You know what I mean? And I think this was a great look for female battle rap and reintroducing yourself to the public. You know what I'm saying? But y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Come right, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. Peace.